Let's start this thing. One thing about Gabrielle, she as she's getting older now, I'm slowing up with the amount of things that I buy her. When she was a baby, I gave her, it was like she was a baby, I just gave her everything, everything. But I found out after some time, she don't appreciate what I give her because it's too much for her. So I waste money and throw things away. And just getting them things that they don't even have room enough to receive. I'm going to tell you something that's going to blow your mind. Every last one of you all have been blessed by God to a measure where you don't have room to receive. That's why you can't no longer see what you have. I'm going to show you something today. <laughs> Ooh, I need you to see it because God has already worked out this thing that you're trying to figure out. Don't know what it is you're trying to figure out, but God told me to tell, them, tell you all, how can you figure out what you are? And you say, well, what do you mean by that? If you have a problem, you really don't have the problem unless you allow it to have you because you're the solution. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What? I'm going to show you in a minute. What is the solution? The solution is your humility to understand unless God does it, it can't be done. So once you realize that God has the answer and is the answer to all things, he says in the midst of your crisis, you praise me. Yes, yes, yes. There'll be no praise yes, yes. is the answer to get the solution out. Okay. Look at Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. As, as my wife gets prepared to start in verse 5, I want you to understand something. God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son to be crucified to take away the sins see that's why you got that globe up there because Jesus was the word manifest and nowhere in the world anywhere in the world anybody that will receive that will receive their breakthrough and once you receive your breakthrough you are a breakthrough God began to, to deal with me as he gave me this word he said tell the saints that I am perfecting them in their trials to be a blessing yes. to someone else yes. for him. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Hey. Your trial, your situation is not even about you. Yes, your, 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 your pride, if you're not careful, your pride will hinder you from coming into the fullness of the blessing that God has for you because somewhere in your intellect you think you shouldn't be going through what you're going through. But if you would humble yourself and realize, God, this is to your group. Oh. Remember when Jesus went to pray for a blind man and he said this particular, this particular situation is not because he sinned or his mama sinned or his daddy sinned. He said this one was ordained so it would give God glory. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's some things in your life if you would just chill out and look back and see what God already brought you out of and you just chill for a moment. If you stop jumping off every boat for a moment, you just chill out. Yeah. Yeah. Old saints used to say, in the by and by, yeah. Yeah. they understood standing still and waiting on God, not waiting for people to change, waiting on God. So that when they moved by through life, things that they didn't understand then, they understand. Yeah. 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 Philippians 2.5 is is a very, a very, very powerful portion of scripture because it's going to identify to us the purpose of empowerment and why God has given us to be a blessing to others in the kingdom of God. You being a blessing to others determines what blessing comes back to you. All right. But if the enemy, if the enemy, if the enter me, I'm sorry. Uh, come on, come on, if the enemy, if the enemy, if the enter me, 
you have more struggles with the inter you yes, than you do with the enemy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Because the inner you wants you to look out for yes, sir. Yes, sir. Start reading that. Verse 5. Let this mind be in you. Let, 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 let. I was telling this morning, you got to let it in. God's standing to the north and he's knocking. Will you let him in? Will you let this mind? Because you have a free will not to let this mind be in you. You can say, look, look out for me and mine. I'm going to do. But I'm here to tell you, you won't be able to enter into the promise that God has for you when you won't have no life. Because if you're self-sustaining, there's no reason for somebody else to sustain you. All right. All right. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Simple but hard, isn't it? Yes, sir. Common sense is not so common any longer. We're searching out the deep things of God and we miss the basic principle. Jesus is teaching us that the first step you must take is you have to let the same mind that was in him be in you. Now you have to ask yourself, what mind was in Christ? He didn't have, he didn't have a right. He came to do an assignment. Well, so did you. You didn't come on your own. God released life in you. Mom and daddy, some folks have been coming together a long time and a child still never came unless God gives life. That's a mystery. Because flesh can come together in your body and they've had babies that were born and had no spirits. So they were born dead. How do you explain the mysteries of God if you want to search out the deep thing? I told him earlier, too much revelation, too much light will hurt you. I want the basic things of God so that I can walk it out and walk over into the pool of Bethesda. Where the waters, I trouble with blessings and healings and deliverance with everything that God has for me. I love this. He said, it's yea and amen. Read on, honey. No, stop there. Go to Proverbs 23, 7. Because of Proverbs 23, 7, it talks about a mind thing. Yes, sir. Read that, honey, 23, 7. As, now before I read it, I want you to see something. Because God is a God of numbers. He built the whole universe on numbers. That's why scientists are able to figure out certain things through numbers. They can get planes to go up in the air as huge as they are. They have planes. They got, they got, I mean, I went on a plane. I took a plane to Italy. They had a plane where it was so huge, it had like three or four tiers up. And the rows went over almost, I think it was almost 10 or 12 in that row. And then five on that side and another five on that side. and went up three tiers like that. Explain to me how a plane can roll for not even 40 seconds. And then it lifts its nose up in the air and gets beyond the clouds. And you all right with that. Don't trust God. And a man is 